Good day to you, wherever you may be. This is AppleAndApps.com, and we're checking out 80 Days, which is a new text-based adventure game. And we'll try to show you kind of the basis of it. The game is based on Jules Verne novel Around the World in 80 Days, but it's kind of altered for uh, more of a kind of choose-your-own-adventure style, as you can see right off the top. And so we did a little exploration which develops the story a bit and now you can start to explore the map and we are trying to make it around the world as quick as possible. And so we can head by boat over here or we can go by train back over here. You see the different costs, we have a limited amount of funds and you also want to take speed into account. So let's go back to where we were. We can spend the night in Venice at the hotel and so this is kind of like that 1872 world but with more of a steampunk kind of invention era And so now we can depart. Mm -hmm. 
And then you play as Passepartout, who is Phileas's Fog loyal valet. And you want to keep him in good health throughout the entire journey. And you see this deluxe 3D map available. And then other players in the different routes that they pick. And that's essentially how the game is going to develop as you go. You're going to go from place to place. You can always go to the market, buy extra suitcases, add in new things, whatever you may need. You have that constant access to funds as well as the changing times. Then you can always zoom back out, see the next potential paths. New pathways are going to be discovered as well as new forms of transport. And you can always explore again. You see the different routes evolve. And so you can plan your next trip. And we hope this gives you a good idea of what to expect if you decide to pick up 80 days for yourself. It's going to be $4.99. It's universal for all iOS devices. And there's over a half a million word script developed into this kind of choose your own adventure style. And so let's depart one last time before we end our video right here. And we'll talk to you next time.